Hey, what's going on YouTube? We just got a new software update 2020.28.2 for our white Model 3. In this video, I'm gonna show you the release notes and I'm also gonna take a test drive. So let's jump right in. <laughs> Huge thank you goes out to our Grandma Tool, Nicola Pro, and Drone Quote supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. Okay, so here are the release notes for 2020.28.2. So it looks like we, if you have traffic light and stop sign control enabled, you can now increase the speed up to plus five miles per hour. So they disabled that a few software updates ago. You could only go to the speed limit and so now you can go plus five miles an hour over the speed limit something i've griped and complained about in previous videos so really nice to see that next is we now have polish as a language so if that is your language of toy choice so really cool to see tesla continuing to support multiple new languages so that is it for the release notes here Everything else is previous release notes. So let's go and see how 2020.28.2 drives. Something that I did see electric post was that you could turn off the climate control with this new software update for the passenger seat. Now I have a 2018 Model 3. Don't see any sort of settings in here where I can turn off this other vent uh, because I don't have a passenger and it goes off of the I guess the seat sensor, knowing that nobody's sitting there, it'll turn off the vent right up here. But definitely don't see any um, setting. This button down here is for the rear AC. So don't see any setting in here um, where I can turn off this vent and only have the driver vent going. And there was word, I saw some comments on Twitter saying that there it was only for Model Y. So. Definitely leave a comment down below if you have a Model Y or you've also heard that. All right, here we go. We're testing software update 2020.28.2. And as you can see, I have the relative speed of my cruise control set to plus five, and it automatically takes me to plus five over the posted speed limit, which is 35 miles an hour. So that is really great to see that they added that back. If you guys recall from one of my previous videos when I did a software update video when they started enabling the stop light and stop sign detection they reduced that to the max speed of whatever the posted speed limit so in this case it would be 35 miles an hour so with this software update 2020.28.2 we also we get the plus five the ability to go five miles per hour over the posted speed limit so the road is going to get really curvy here so let's see how this new update handles these really aggressive turns. We have a big bend coming up here. We're going downhill and a big bend going back right to the right hand, slowing down all the way to 32 from 40 miles an hour down to 30. So slowing down 10 miles per hour to navigate that really beautiful job by the autopilot there. Now we are back up to 40 miles per hour, five miles per hour over the posted speed limit as I have that set in the settings. Here we have a right curve coming up, going five miles, six miles per hour below what it was going. And now a left bend, doing a really good job, going really smooth around these pretty aggressive curves. Now we have a beautiful sunset in front of us, so you guys can enjoy that right along with me. Some pretty aggressive bends coming up, as you can see from that sign right over there really aggressive curves coming up going downhill as well the autopilot is doing a great job using that regenerative braking to control the speed going down to 30 29 miles per hour so down 11 miles per hour down 12 miles per hour down 27 26 great job by autopilot if you guys have watched my curvy country road test and especially my most recent one with no lane lines the autopilot is definitely doing a great job and struggles sometimes when it reaches a point where the curve is too aggressive. So really nice to see it. This new update 2020.28.2 being able to handle those are really aggressive curves. So I'll show you in the settings. If we go into the settings to autopilot and we go down to speed limit, that's where we can see the offset is plus five. So if you guys 
want the same settings that I have here where it automatically goes five miles per hour over the posted speed limit, the maximum that Tesla will let you go, then you go over here to offset under autopilot in your settings and hit relative speed to plus five, and that'll get you that setting. So here we are approaching a stoplight and it is identifying that it's stoplight and it's identified it as yellow and now red. So it is going to come to a complete stop. No involvement from me as a driver. I'm not pushing the brake pedal. You can see by the blue steering wheel that is still in autopilot and stops automatically at this red light. Now, when the light does turn green, because I'm not following a vehicle, I do have to press the accelerator pedal or I have to pull down on the gear stock in order for it to go through the stoplight. A couple software updates ago, they added if I was the second car, so if I was behind this black car that's behind me, and I was following that car, and the light did turn green, then it would go and follow that car through the intersection. Here we go, we have a green light. I'm gonna go ahead and acknowledge, and the car, and the autopilot is going to go straight ahead. So now having tested this software version on several different roads, it is operating really smooth. The only noticeable thing is that I'm allowed to go five miles per hour over the posted speed limit. So I can go here, I can go up to 50 miles per hour. And I think since this is a divided highway, I can go more than five miles per hour over. So you see I'm going 10 miles per hour over there, but I'm gonna go back down to only five miles per hour over so I don't get a speeding ticket. But other than the speed limit change, no noticeable improvements yet, but I'll be sure to run this through my aggressive testing, including the curvy country road test. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave a link up here in the corner for you to check that out. While I have you guys here, I wanna talk about Testmanian. That is a website built by a Tesla owner so they know exactly what they're doing. There are so many great products for your S3, X, and Y. And if you use the code Will All Electric, you actually get 10% off on anything you purchase on their site. If you just got your Model Y and you need all weather floor mats, they have a fantastic set. I got the exact same ones for my Model 3 and they work beautifully, not to mention their trunk mat, which actually covers the entire space in your trunk and that blue cooler there, which you've probably seen in one of my previous videos, which is really sweet. Also to mention, they have really cool home decor items where there is actually planets. Yes, light up little planets, and that is part of their space lamps. So there's all different sort of planets like the moon, Jupiter, and Mars. I actually have the Mars lamp on my bookshelf. I'll have a link to their website and also my coupon code that gets you 10% off to their website down below in the description. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with a friend and don't forget push, push, to push, hit push, that push subscribe button. button. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.